So uh, as I mentioned, you know, we've been around since 1927 as a university. We're a small, private, nonprofit, STEM or management of STEM only university. So that's why we have less than a thousand students, but we're proud of that because we're here to get everybody a job that comes here or advance their career. That's our focus. And we were founded based in the military. So a Navy vet started Capital Technology University in 1927 in downtown DC to teach people how to build radios. And from that point on, as uh, the students grew, it moved to a temporary location in Kensington. And then this land that you see we bought in the 80s, it was called Beltsville Speedway. So just a couple of years ago, we took down turn three and four back where those new residence halls are. So you don't see those anymore. And on a rare occasion, we do get somebody from the outside who still thinks it's a racetrack. We had to put a stop to that. So again, we're, we're very proud of our history here. And just like MCPA, military and cyber are our strong points. Um, for the military, we're a yellow ribbon program school. We also offer discounts for active duty and their families, retired military. Uh, we're part of the, the, a member of Fort Meade Alliance. So we're very proud of that. And matter of fact, I don't see my vice president of academic affairs, but he's a retired uh, Marine Colonel that runs our academics. And even though we were founded by the Navy, we figured the Marines close enough, so that's all right. So that's kind of our history there. Um, as far as cyber goes, we've been very strong in cyber. So in 2001, we started the first online master's degree in information assurance. And the unfortunate events at 9-11 uh, caused that program to explode. And so with the growth of information assurance, which is now cybersecurity, everything's named that way, we included a doctor of science in cybersecurity in 2010, and we're approaching our 300th um, doctoral graduate this, I think next month. And uh, if you know Dr. D'Souza, he's one of our proud alumni, and Dr. Janicek, Diane Janicek, she's another proud alumni. So we have a couple people on the advisory board as well. And then, in 2018, we added critical infrastructure degrees. Um, with that kind of expanded cyber into more of talking about operation of technology, industrial control systems, we're looking to stay ahead of the curve on issues. So it was uh, timely, if nothing else, being in 2018 launch of that type of uh, content. So our focus here will always be working with industry and trying to provide what industry needs at the educational level. And um, we're adding degrees all the time that are only industry focused. Even our undergraduate degrees that are on campus, they're only, as I mentioned, STEM or management STEM. So our undergraduates are, they exceed 85% placement rate. And we even guarantee our undergraduate on campus students a minimum $50,000 starting salary or we'll pay their loan and their parents' loan every quarter till they exceed that. So we're not afraid of what we're producing because we wanna help the industry, the economy. That's what we're here for at Capital Tech and that's what we'll always be here for. Go back into our traditions of our founder, Ritsky, who wanted to help people build radios and that was a success. So once again, thanks for coming to HammerCon. Thanks for coming to Capital Tech and have a good day. Thank you. And hold on one one moment. And uh, so, since we're here in, in Maryland, and uh, and everybody loves crabs here, and this is HammerCon, we wanted to present you with this mallet here, branded with the MCPA logo, uh, as a symbol of our appreciation, oh, sir. Thank you. thank you. Yes. And each of the uh, the speakers and panelists are actually going to receive one of those. So don't go ahead and buy one. Uh, unless you want an extra one, so uh, so we're 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 actually really excited about the uh, about the MCPA shop that's uh, being manned by our J1 um, Colonel retired uh, Russ Griffin. Is that him in the back there? Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Um, <clears throat> if you've ever processed a, an Order of Thor medal nomination, uh, you may have uh, seen or interacted with him uh, virtually. Just a, a, such a, an amazing example about the team of volunteers that we have at the MCPA who really uh, make the organization work on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, including Daria here, our, uh, our fellowship uh, manager. Um, of course, we have our track MCs um, like Carm, but then also uh, at, the, uh, at the other tracks there who also happen to be the editors-in-chief 
of our two publications, which I'll get into here um, shortly. <clears throat> so maybe, okay, there we go. All right, so um, in addition to thanking Brad and the, the uh, CapTech team, um, also so many different organizations and people to thank, I'm not gonna be able to, to, to do all of them, but I did just wanna call out um, a couple who have uh, played a really special role in the, uh, in the establishment of the association. Uh, and of course, this being our first national convention, gonna uh, give you a little bit of those, uh, of those bites of history, if you will. So the Army Cyber Institute at West Point, I saw that we have a few people in the audience uh, from there. Uh, really a very special team, uh, a really special mission. Um, very uh, aligned with the mission of the association. Um, their first uh, director, uh, Colonel slash Dr. Greg Conti, was the very first person to present an Order of Thor medal. Um, they uh, had uh, hosted a number of great events. I spoke at actually their first cyber talks that was over at National Defense University where I currently work on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's kind of cool. And it's actually at uh, their SciCon, uh, conference in DC where I met my wife, uh, Christine Billingsley. So definitely the networking opportunities at cons are incredible, They're really incredible. So take advantage of the opportunities that, that are presented to you here. Um, another one that I wanna call out is uh, my dear friend, Paul D'Souza, uh, the founder and president of uh, the Cybersecurity Forum Initiative. Uh, we have attended and done many different events uh, all over the place. Um, for years and years, and, uh, and really uh, such a, a special relationship there and, uh, and base of support for the organization. So thank you very much uh, for that. And another organization to call out, um, the uh, National Defense University College of Information and Cyberspace, also known as the Cyber War College. It's a nickname. Um, but uh, that is where you can find me on a day-to-day -day basis uh, down in DC um, as a DOD civilian and just such a great organization and they're, they're exhibiting here. And, uh, and <clears throat> you might have seen in some of the material and before the theme for the conference, uh, you have to beat all of us to be one of us, actually is inspired by um, something that I heard uh, Chris English, the National Cyber Director say, um, as he was being interviewed by the Chancellor of the College of Information and Cyberspace, Dr. Cassandra C. Lewis here. Um, and that really uh, inspired me. And I thought that it spoke exactly to everything that we're really about which is about building this team, uh, infusing the trust, and that being uh, something that our adversaries have to take into consideration when they're considering messing with us. So with that, we're gonna move on here. Um, a little, very brief summary, background of the, uh, the past of the Military Cyber Professionals Association. It's my favorite kind of expeditionary picture, joint force stuff, uh, when uh, Captain Billingsley over there um, uh, underway on the USS Mount Whitney, um, really just uh, saw um, across the entire joint force uh, such a, a need for all of us to come together and move in the right direction um, at a much more rapid pace. And, uh, and I had the opportunity at the Naval Postgraduate School to actually uh, put the association together in a way to, to really do that, uh, fusing together uh, a number of different incentives, whether you're talking about uh, great events to just spoil, uh, the military cyber community, uh, which hopefully uh, we're going to be doing here today for you, um, to giving publishing opportunities, whether in the magazine or in our peer review journal, um, and, and of course our medal, the, the Order of Thor medal. Um, and what we have here is an organization, a 501c3 educational nonprofit and public charity with the mission of developing American military cyber professionals and investing in our nation's future through STEM education. So that two-part mission there is really focused on the force of today and of tomorrow. And, uh, and we've really done an amazing job, I think, doing that over the years and a lot more work to be done there uh, coming up, of course, as well. Hey, Arnold, how are you? Yes, and Arnold Abraham here, uh, another uh, fine example of, uh, of one of the members of the team of the association. He's from our board of advisors. We have a number of our uh, board of advisor members, um, as well as Brad Sims there um, in attendance today and also that couldn't be here. Um, <clears throat> and it's, uh, if you check the website, it's uh, actually a quite uh, impressive list, I must say. Our most recent addition was uh, General Keith Alexander. So it's pretty good stuff. 
Um, anyway, so uh, the values of the organization, uh, loyalty, duty, and excellence that we actually really do put into action. Uh, my favorite example of that is loyalty that we are showing to the members of this community by ensuring that we're waiving the membership fees for you, um, whether you're a government employee, uniformed, or a civilian, um, active reserve, um, honorably discharged veterans as well. Um, so just very appreciative of your service to our nation, truly. Okay, there we go. Yes, our vision, our vision is really to establish um, and maintain uh, what the nation needs, expects, and deserves. Our nation needs the cyberspace to be secure for military, economic, and private individual pursuits. Our nation expects the American military to work together as a team, and it deserves a robust association of professionals dedicated to ensuring cyberspace is a national asset. And I think we're, we're making progress on, on all fronts there. Um, <clears throat> we have a number of chapters around the country. If, uh, if you don't have a chapter in your own local area, um, we, can, uh, we can help to establish one. Uh, do we have some of the chapter presidents here um, in residence? If so, can you please stand up? I see uh, Joseph Schaefer over there. Who else do we have there? Ah, Rich, yes, from the New England chapter. And of course, Joseph from the uh, NCR chapter. Minnesota, cool. That, that's actually our newest chapter, by the way. And Brad over here from the Colorado chapter. Uh, special thanks really to, to each and every one of you because that's really where our mission is executed, uh, where the rubber meets the road, particularly having to do with STEM education uh, for K through 12, which uh, is again, very important aspect of our mission. Okay, so uh, some of our programs uh, are here. Like I mentioned, we have two publications. Do we have the editors in chief uh, here, uh, Dr. Tomas Pena and uh, Major Stephanie Travis? Well, they're, they're around, but uh, definitely special thanks to them. Um, you're highly encouraged to take advantage of these uh, publishing opportunities. I know a lot of military folks and government folks go through a lot of PME schools where you're writing these things anyway. So you might as well get credit um, in a very career enhancing way of being a published author. And we actually built those opportunities for you. So the magazine Cyber, which is in all of your bags, it's very flexible, um, really any kind of topic and you have some insights, we could get it published. Um, at the more graduate level, um, we have Military Cyber Affairs, a, a proper peer reviewed journal uh, for those folks who are uh, at the, the, the graduate level. <clears throat> so um, as uh, Brad Sims had mentioned, uh, we were getting ready to actually have our first convention in 2020. Then the pandemic happened. Uh, we had to put that on pause. But what we did do, as many of you know, we spun up the 3L series, um, the Lockdown Lunch and Learn, um, put on every single Wednesday, every single week for 100 straight weeks um, by uh, my lovely wife and also Chief Operating Officer of the Military Cyber Professional Association, Christine Billingsley, and such a, an amazing person and professional who I think is still out there um, getting people badges and stuff. Oh, there she is in the back there. Yes, a round of applause for her. Yeah, uh, truly remarkable work with that series. Uh, I know uh, really had a big impact on a lot of folks um, throughout the pandemic. So again, thank you very much, Melo. Um, so then uh, at the 100th episode when we retired it, uh, which was actually just uh, maybe a month or so ago, um, we transitioned that to our very own weekly podcast um, hosted by Nick Thomas. Is Nick here? Nick here? Ah, there he is in back there. Um, so formerly the InfoSec Sync podcast, uh, now the Mill Cyber Sync podcast, um, really tremendous um, uh, venue to share information about things going on of interest to this community. So if, uh, if you see him, feel free to engage him. He could do a little interview with you, um, but more importantly, longer term, um, feed him uh, interesting insights that you think uh, you need to get the, the, the word out about. Um, <clears throat> because it's really all about feedback and building those feedback mechanisms for, uh, to, to more quickly develop our, our community. 
So uh, up at the top there, you'll see Gen Cyber. So super excited um, that in collaboration with our friends at the Virginia Tech uh, National Security Institute, um, successfully competed for a, um, a grant with NSA Gen Cyber and actually it was uh, Christine's uh, idea, pet project. Uh, so there's gonna be an activity book, coloring book featuring our little Pomeranian uh, who's gonna be teaching um, cybersecurity principles uh, for, for younger kids. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's, uh, it's actually gonna be really great. I'm very, very excited about that. And finally, <clears throat> our, uh, our flagship uh, program the Order of Thor medal here, which uh, my friend Paul likes to call the flame of the association because it really is at the heart of, uh, of really what we're all about and why our national convention is called HammerCon, right? So why did we choose Thor and why did we choose the hammer here is because we needed uh, some kind of mythological type of character to adorn our medal, uh, just like uh, for many other communities across the American military cyber community. Uh, for some folks, uh, you know, might be familiar with the Order of Mercury for the Signal Corps Association uh, or the Army Strategist uh, Association has the, uh, the Order of the Archangel and so on and so forth. So we knew we needed somebody inspiring and, and fun, actually. Um, so Thor was selected because he is a warrior as the God of Thunder that operates in and through the clouds. And he wields uh, the hammer, which is a tool with both the power to build and destroy, just like cyberspace. And so we, uh, we really like that, uh, the symbolism of like that. And so we have the bronze, silver, and gold to, to recognize folks. And on the public facing website, there's all the information about who can qualify and, and why and all that. Um, that being said, uh, we have a special offer here today um, that if, uh, if you wanna, nominate anybody to be recognized at HammerCon in the closing ceremonies at the end of the day, see our MCPA store over there and speak to, uh, to Russ or J1 and, uh, and he can help you out with that um, uh, amongst uh, the other really cool items there that, that are for purchase. Okay, yes, so finally, HammerCon, us coming together, what is it all about? The three tracks here, the main track, um, as Karm had mentioned, we have the two other tracks, the more academic research education uh, focused track uh, being um, uh, uh, emceed by Dr. Tomas Pena. Uh, we have the more commercial um, and private sector oriented track um, being emceed by Stephanie Travis. Um, and they're all gonna be amazing. Uh, the villages that we have represented here, um, imported from places like DEF CON, uh, the lockpicking village, the IoT village, and, uh, and career hacking village. Um, <clears throat> the career hacking village, actually, we've done some really great collaboration with over the past couple of years. The MCPA has run the national service panel at DEF CON, um, really sharing information about different national service opportunities, not just in the defense community, but much more broader than that. Um, and actually, the, uh, the 91st Cyber Brigade, their commander, represented the military community there at this past DEF CON um, and want to give a special thanks to them. And I know that they're exhibiting here today as well. Um, the, uh, the IoT Village is hosting their own uh, team, uh, CTF, and I know they have prizes and they have such an amazing layout and that room is just amazing. So definitely go check them out. There's just really so many amazing things happening here today. Um, <clears throat> including, you might have seen the coffee bar, Fancy Barista. Thank you, L3 Harris, for, uh, for sponsoring that. For the VIP lounge, uh, sponsored by AppGate. Thank you all for that. Um, we, of course, have a lot of other things going on. Uh, the brisket, something I'm very excited about. Um, Mission Barbecue, um, if you haven't seen yet, the truck is out there. It had some uh, battery issues yesterday, but they were able... To, to get past that. So uh, Bam Bam, as it's known, is, uh, is here with us uh, physically, not just in spirit. So that's gonna be a really great lunch. And, uh, and finally, the evening reception um, that is in the other building there that starts at 5 p.m. today, um, open to everybody in attendance. That's, uh, that's also gonna be an open bar. Uh, don't overdo it. Uh, everybody is a safety officer. Keep, 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 keep an eye on everybody. This is Military Cyber Professionals Association. So, uh, so again, the intent here is really to spoil you and demonstrate how much you are appreciated and how much you are needed 
um, and whatever the association can do to actually take care of you in whatever uh, way, shape or form, that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do. So thank you very much. Um, also, another B to add on to the list there um, is bourbon. You might have heard of the Cyber Single Barrel Bourbon, uh, which I'm also uh, very excited about. Um, <clears throat> this is actually the second run of that, um, developed by uh, Tobacco Barn Distilleries down in uh, Southern Maryland. And actually one of our board advisor members, Scott um, Sanders, I don't know if he's here. Oh, Scott, how's it going? Yes, um, so uh, beginning at 12 noon today at the MCPA store, he will be uh, making available for purchase a very limited supply of the Cyber Single Barrel bourbon, which actually is delicious. I don't wanna uh, you know, encourage anybody to drink alcohol or anything like that, um, but it's, uh, it's pretty good in, in moderation. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, finally, uh, so some of you may have noticed that there are some characters around the outside of the logo of the uh, of HammerCon. Um, it, anybody who's listed here, could you please come up to the stage? Uh, because I want to recognize you. So we use the, the same code from 2020 um, and, and for 2022. Cool. Welcome, yes. Okay, we got a couple more. All right, uh, yes, Ronnie, Ronnie, from our board of directors, by the way, Ronnie Bustamante here. And uh, we have a, another couple uh, uh, board of uh, board of director members as well. I know Chris Cleary, I think, see you in the shadows over there. I don't know if Amanda Mason uh, is, is here yet, but, um, but yes, also wanna uh, bring up uh, uh, Brad Rhodes to explain actually the, the whole puzzle thing. And, uh, and please come, come up on stage. I, I definitely want to shake your hand as Brad uh, walks us through uh, how that all worked. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Sir. Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, that's loud. I'm Okie dokie then. Let's see here if I can make my slides. And the slides are gonna go. There we go. Okay, so I am not G. Mark Hardy. Uh, G. Mark uh, took ill and was not able to join us, but I get to do interpretive dance and, as you see, a story told by Brad. Um, so this is our puzzle. You guys you just don't have to stand up here. That's awkward. That's weird. Go sit down. Do everybody give him a big round of applause for completing the puzzle. So one of the things that's really cool in, cyber prof in Military Cyber Professionals Association is we like puzzles, right? How many people like puzzles? Right. We would call Mark the Riddler, but that's a blatant copy violating, uh, copyright violation, so we call him the Puzzler. Um, but we created this puzzle because we wanted people to think. Uh, people always find those small bits and pieces. And if you notice around the outside of the logo is... Make it work. Let's go. Maybe. Base 64. But that's not it, because that's no fun. Who here has ever had to chase malware and found base 64, right? Some people, right? Find some base 64. Usually in base 64, there is something else, right? And so same thing here. So you, we can decode that. Oh, and at the bottom of that, we find this really cool picture out of that. But now we've added something else. There's a bunch of binary code. So I'll make that work. And yeah, maybe I'll get it to work. Right, so now the binary translates to yet another link. Now, what's really cool or bad here is if you come to my talk later, shameless plug, um, we're gonna be talking about these redirections. And so everybody, okay, everybody raise, I'm gonna ask the dumb question. Everybody has lived through the pandemic, yes? Everybody raise your hand, yep, everybody. Hi, I'm Brad, I lived through the pandemic. Um, and so what's really interesting is that we saw this actually a lot in the pandemic. Um, I chased a whole bunch of malicious cyber actors out there that were doing redirects of things like, you know, Google and Google Docs, because who blocks that? It's all good, right? No, it's not. Okay, so we found something else in there. If I can get my thing to work, there we go. Oh, now we found some hexadecimal. We're getting there. Look at, I like, uh, so everybody, everybody excited for, for Tom Cruise, uh, his movie, right? What is it, Top Gun Maverick? Right, he's, he's only made it to captain. They're like, why aren't you an admiral? I've seen the trailers, it's awesome. I can, uh, my, my brother, uh, my, my little brother, and he's not so little anymore, but my little brother's the air boss in the USS Nimitz. Uh, so we have a little, you know, inter-service rivalry at my house, uh, you know, back with, with mom and dad. So, okay, so we get this, so we convert this. Look at you, get more stuff, great work. You're still not quite there, but we're sitting there. This is using, uh, this is using, gosh, which tool is it? CyberChef. 
right? So thank you, GCHQ and, and, and our friends in the UK for building CyberChef. It's a great tool to convert stuff. So if I get that to work, right? So now you have more. Now we have this really cool name badge, right? Translate power to build, power to destroy, similar to what we see in, you know, Thor's hammer coming down from the cloud. If I can get this to go, there we go. All right, and now we have the cat. I like cats, cats are cool. I have two tabbies at my house. But now we have, now we've added something else, right? We have another language here, right? So we have the, we have, it's actually German, so that's always fun. So Google's got that fancy translate feature, which is useful, which it takes you to another link and you're super close. So you notice the puzzle here. This, I, I actually really like the puzzles that we built with this because it really drives you to think. It makes you think about what we see actually in real life, where there's one crumb to the next crumb to the next crumb to the next crumb. And so uh, Joe, Joe was sad that we didn't have dancing GIFs. I told him I'd do interpretive dance. There's the interpretive dance. Um, but again, you can see here, we've got a bunch of stuff right there. There's the next clue. Oh, now we get some congratulations from, if I can get it to work, from Maui, right? Maui says hi. Um, but again, there you go. And then that would be the thing there. And obviously, we had many, many plans, right, to do this thing in 2020. We got run over by the pandemic. In fact, we were, we were hoping to see all of you here in 2020, but we're so glad to see all of you here now. Um, so give yourselves a round of applause for being here this morning. We really appreciate it. So I'll bring Joe back up. Joe's going to be your, Joe, you know, if you're seeing like the, you know, the, the, like the people that do the we're walking, we're walking thing, that's not going to be Joe. Your seats are not going to work as a flotation device in case of a water landing. But Joe's going to tell you where all the cool stuff is that are happening at HammerCon. We're so glad you're here. Joe, back over to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yes, each one of you uh, has this printed out in your bags. Um, so I'm not going to go over it too much. Uh, Although I will uh, make you take note that some of the bathrooms are upstairs. So that's very important, of course. Okay, so uh, there's a number of folks uh, who wanted to be with us tonight, uh, but couldn't. Um, and I figured that the, the best person to have go first, uh, National Cyber Director, since we got the, the theme of our conference from him. And with that, I think the video should work, right? 